Hey everybody, Justin Cena here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to take full control of your menu in your Shopify store. This is really powerful, really unique as well. I bet you a lot of you have thought that uh, about really utilizing the menu and kind of getting creative with it, integrating it into your marketing. It's a big, massive part of your store, of the customer funnel, showcasing the products, the categories, the pages that you want to show at the right time, right? I'm gonna teach you how to do it the right way. And if you've thought about doing it before, you might be turned off by how annoying it is, right? For lack of a better word, to go ahead and control your menu in Shopify. And big stores use their store menu all the time to boost sales, to boost conversions, to funnel customers in the right direction. Sellers who customize menus, they consistently see higher conversion rates, higher sales, higher money in their pocket, right? More profit. And a really popular strategy right now is using the menu QOL Shopify app to take complete control and easily customize your store's menu any way you want. I'm gonna show you over the shoulder. There's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You need to use an app. I'm gonna show you the exact app to use. And really, pain point number one you know, uh, on Shopify, it's like I said, it's very annoying, hard to manage these menus. And it makes changing menus uh, you know, a time-consuming task, an annoying task, and uh, you need to find an app that's gonna make it super easy. It's gonna require no prior technological skill. You don't need to be a coder or anything like that. And really most importantly, when you get inside the app, you need to find one that's going to allow you to hide your menu items instead of deleting them and basically allow you to copy navigation menus, have full com complete control. You wanna be seasonal on your menu. You wanna have a promotional menu. You wanna do something for Black Friday and then you wanna save it for next year, save it, copy it, turn things off, hide things, right? Very, very easy to use when you work with Menu QOL. That's the app that I'm gonna be showing you in this video, and I highly recommend it. You're gonna see exactly how I use it in one of my stores. It makes managing and getting creative with menus super, super easy. And you see the link directly below this video. We're gonna go over the shoulder, I'll show you right now, the Menu QOL app. Hide and copy menus, very, very easy to do. You wanna hide seasonal menus instead of throwing them away? Great, because then you can save time when you wanna bring that seasonal menu back. And it's literally, you could have different collections, you could have different types of menus, you can copy menus in seconds, you could import and export different menu, uh, menu structures, especially when you start doing really nice in-depth drop-down menus and all that great stuff. Here's a little example of how it's gonna look. I'm gonna show you over the shoulder exactly what you can do here. Full control, right? Full control of how your menu is gonna look. No code needed and you're gonna be able to save and copy menus, duplicate menu items, drag and drop, couldn't be any easier. So you see the link below this video. All you need to do is press the install button right over here. We're gonna go ahead and install this app into our store. We're gonna go step by step and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. So we'll press the install button over here. Gonna bring, bring us back into our Shopify store where we'll go ahead and press install over here. Installing the app over here into our store. You see the menu QOL section over here and immediately it's going to show us our different menus and We're going to go into of course our footer menu and our main menu And you're going to see here that we're going to be able to of course see our menu and have different options over here and things like that But before we get started, we're going to want to go ahead and select a plan You're going to get a 14-day free trial over here as well So you have the option of paying yearly or paying monthly, you get a bit of a savings over here if you go with the yearly. Totally up to you, we'll come over here and click select. You're gonna get your 14 day free trial anyway. So we'll go ahead and approve this over here for our free trial to start. Bringing us back over into the menu QOL dashboard. And now you see that we've unlocked the ability to make changes over here and we have the ability to kind of do a lot of different things, right? Copying links, rearranging links. I'm gonna show you exactly how I set up some really cool, powerful menus that are gonna help you boost sales. So as you can see, I've got uh, my menu up here. It's got some holiday text in here. I've actually created a little drop down. Got my gifting guide. It's got my winter collection. And I'm gonna show you some really cool things about why we're gonna use menu QOL. I'm over here inside of the menu QOL app and you see that it's got all of my different menus here listed right in the back end. So I've got my footer menu, I've got my original main menu, I've made a copy of my main menu. You see I've made some edits to it. And this is just really gonna save you so much time, make your life a lot easier and let you actually go ahead and monetize with your menu. So let me show you some cool things, right? We have our menu looking like this right now. Now, let's say we have some things, for example, during the holiday season, right? A lot of people care about shipping deadlines. A lot of people care about gifting guides and things like that. So we wanna update our menu to reflect that. And I've done that over here. We're gonna expand everything. You see that I have my winter collection. I have my gifting guide collection over here as well. Really getting a lot of placement in here. You see it's front and center on every page. You're gonna have holiday shopping. 
But here's something that you could do as well. So we have our FAQ page, right? And let's say we have currently going to our typical FAQs. But during the holidays, we know that there are additional FAQs that aren't relevant year round, like will this arrive for Christmas? Will this arrive for the holidays, etc. So here's a really cool example of what you can do. We're going to come over here and we're going to click copy. And you see now we have two FAQs over here. You see that the save menu also becomes enabled because we're going to be able to edit things and save on the fly. So we'll want to save here. If we saved here, we can come back over here into our live site. I'll reload. You'll see we have two FAQ links now. Okay, obviously that doesn't make sense. So what I want to do here, you'll see, <clears throat> edit. I'm going to go over and edit the page now. Okay, and I'm going to go and I'm going to select a different page that I have, my holiday shipping FAQ page. And you see, I can keep it FAQs in terms of the navigation, so we keep everything the same. And now I can simply hide the original one. Now when I save this, you're going to see what happens over here. In fact, I'll open this in a new page so you can see the difference, right? So let me reload this. So we have our FAQ page. And in this example, FAQs goes to our FAQ page. But now in our FAQs, we go to our holiday shipping frequently asked questions, right? So really, really easy to customize your menu without changing things, right? Your customer wants to go find the FAQs. Okay, keep your ne uh, menu navigation the same. Update it in terms of relevant information, relevant holidays, right? You can change everything. You could even change the text of the link if you want as well. Let's say holidays are over, right? We don't want to have our holiday shipping here anymore, right? Well, first of all, we could export the menu. This allows us to basically download it which gives us a JSON file. You don't need to be too concerned about that, but basically you save that file. You can come back and import that menu at any time. Or what I like to do is copy the menu, right? We can copy menus at any time. So we're going to go ahead and confirm copy. This is going to literally create another copy of this right over here. You'll start to see we have a big list of menus. And also you notice over here, the import menu, this is where you would upload that JSON file that you downloaded when you export. So you have all these menus in here. We start doing crazy things and change things, right? So let's say we have our holiday shopping one. We, we like how things are. We have our holiday shipping FAQs. We have our holiday drop down. Okay, a couple months go by. It's not the holiday season anymore, right? We already cloned or copied this menu. So next year, we can come back and come right back to our holiday shopping menu. We could simply go into our online store, customize our store into headings, and we can just simply change our menu. All right, so this is how we would go and change our menu in terms of what's being live. So let's go back over here to menu QOL. And I just created a clone over here. So here's my holiday shopping one. Let's say now the holidays are over. Okay, we don't need to show holiday shopping or anything like that. We might want to go back to our original menu or we might want to just have kind of a default menu. So we can come over here, right? We could just simply delete. Remember, this is the clone. Okay, we can show the original one. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to save this menu. So we could even export this one, right? If we export this, this would be our kind of default menu that we can come back to at any time. Okay, let's make another copy, All right? Let's say now it's time for, I don't know, uh, back to school, right? Kids are going back to school. We wanna make a menu promoting new items there. Okay, so we can come over here. We have our holiday shipping, uh, uh, shopping setup, right? With a drop down. I'm going to come over and simply copy this menu. Okay, with this copy, I'm now going to make some changes. We have our holiday shipping, right? We'll come over here. First, let's expand everything. We're going to simply edit this. We're going to now say, how about back to school, right? Or, you, could, you know, it could be anything. It could be spring collection. It could be Halloween. It could be summer. You know, it could be uh, 4th of July, right? Any type of event, holiday, right? promotion. We can now customize everything very easily here inside of menu QOL. So I'm going to go over here and do back to school. Okay, that's the top level here. Obviously, we don't want winter collections. So let's come over here and edit this. Okay, and we have different collections that are in our store. So we can come over here. I've got my fall collection. I'm simply going to replace that. I'll say fall collection. Okay, maybe we have great gifts. We're going to put uh, edit this and you see great gifts is simply just a selection of our top products. It's a collection that we have in our store. I'm going to put something like this, um, student favorites. Okay. Just makes sense. You know, we're just basically going on theme. Okay. And we could save this out. Let's say, you know, we, now we have our fall menu. Okay. Maybe we want to do another one, right. And come over here and you could have menus for each season. It makes it very easy. You know, we come over here and say, okay, let's expand all. Let's go over here, edit. 
And now again, we'll do the same thing. Summer favorites. And we'll edit this. We'd pick summer collection over here. We'd come over here. How about, uh, let's see what else we have here. We'll do our featured product. And we'll say um, best for hot weather. It's all marketing here, right? We're just basically having different ways to merchandise and present our product. And let's say it's time to, uh, you know, make that change to go ahead and implement this, hol or this, in this case, summer menu, right? We'd simply go back to our online store and select that menu. So again, I'm going over here into the theme editor. I'm going to change my menu over here. And we see summer favorites. And as you see here, our summer favorites menu right on top. So I'm going to go and switch back just so I could have my uh, winter menu over here, my holiday shopping and my updated FAQs. Reload this page over here. And here is our menu good to go. So really powerful here. You see our holiday sweater, one of our most popular items. And now we can just get it merchandised a lot easier and have full control over that navigation. So that was menu QOL. As you saw, incredibly easy and also incredibly powerful. Take full control of your menus to see just how easy it is to do it. Get creative, use these in your marketing, in your customer funnel. It's gonna help you make more sales, make higher average order value, and just simply make more money. So highly recommended, get this in your store. You see the link directly below this video. Highly recommended menu QOL. I hope this helps you build a massive Shopify business and I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks a lot.